Hi guys, uh, back here again and I have two businesses in this video. First of all, I'm going to uh, uh, bring up something that uh, <laughs> has obviously caused a little bit of problem and that is how to pronounce my name. Uh, and um, some, I've been participating in some contests actually where uh, some members don't know how to pronounce my name. And I'm going to uh, teach you a little bit. Uh, my name is, uh, in my language, is uh, pronounced Jörgen. Uh, and uh, Ö is, uh, the ring with the two dots above, is uh, our final letter in our alphabet. So Jörgen S. But uh, Americans or other English-spoken uh, people uh, also says Jorgen S. And that is perfectly all right with me. Jorgen S or Jorgen S. Not a Spanish version, Jorgen S. <laughs> uh, Jorgen S or Jorgen S is uh, the correct way to pronounce my, my name. And uh, now, when we have uh, been dealing with that, Let's go to my uh, main business for this video. Uh, Mr. Hall of Fame, Brandon, uh, hello and uh, congratulations to your 3,000 subscribers. That is an awesome, huge number of subscribers. Uh, very much congratulations and uh, you earned every one of them because uh, I uh, like your videos very very much especially those with 80s and soul music so uh, co huge congratulations uh, but I'm also going to have to uh, do a little apology in my first videos in January and February I uh, pronounced your uh, nickname uh, totally wrong I feel very much ashamed actually if you don't remember it's I think it's for the better but you can go back to my first videos also uh, but uh, I'm very sorry for uh, saying your name wrong, and uh, now I'm. Uh, it is Mr. Hall of Fame. That is the real deal. So, so uh, uh, I'm very sorry, but now I'm going to uh, do some answering in your 3,000 subscribe contest. That was about uh, uh, songs that sounded alike. Been there, done that, and uh, it was one of the toughest. A contest actually that I have been participating in because uh, when I looked around uh, I don't discover uh, songs that are very much familiar all that much uh, but when I checked out uh, many songs did some googling uh, and checked out what I had to choose between there were many that I don't have any records with because it was uh, much hip-hop that I borrowed from different songs and don't have actually and it is uh, artists like Lady Gaga and Rihanna seems to have been borrowing 50% of her career from other songs and I can come out and confess right now I don't have any Lady Gaga and Rihanna albums so uh, uh, it, it was a little tough but I managed to find uh, five examples of, of songs that uh, I do have and that actually sounds very much alike. Uh, I'm going to play uh, s short parts of that song, uh, not too long because I would hate to see YouTube ban my video. And I'm also going to show the sleeve of the album uh, or single in many cases. So uh, let's start with it from the beginning. And one of the most uh, famous cases actually, uh, this one uh, went so far that uh, the original artist sued the copycat uh, and uh, uh, I'm talking about uh, Hugh Lewis and the News who sued Ray Parker Jr. Uh, who had been using Hugh Lewis song I Want a New Drug to create his worldwide famous movie hit Ghostbusters. Uh, you will lose sued Ray Parker and they eventually uh, soon settled it out uh, outside court and uh, went separate ways I guess. Uh, it may sound a little bit alike so check this out. <laughs> Thank you. 
so that was Ray Parker and Jewel Lewis. And if I'm going to pick a winner or or a, which one I prefer, uh, I Ray Parker is a catchy melody that I listened to a lot as a child, but I'm a little fed up with it. I listened to it way too much. I think I prefer the original with Julie Lewis, I want no drug, actually. Uh, even though I like Ray Parker very much as a soul artist in, in radio and so on. Uh, my second example is uh, close to the edge when it comes to whether or not it is a theft or not. But the songs are still very much similar. It's a very famous case here in Europe. Uh, I'm talking about uh, ABBA and the song S.O.S. Uh, and uh, the Australian band... Uh, Australia? <laughs> no, they were from Austria. Austria. The Austrian band uh, Edelweiss wanted to borrow a few... Uh, uh, some, a few, so a little from the refrain of S.O.S. to use in their comedy song Bring Me Edelweiss. Uh, Björn and Benny of ABBA said no, uh, they didn't allow that. So they went to the third, uh, the, the third uh, composer of the song. Uh, you know, ABBA's manager in the 70s, Stig Andersson, Stig Andersson uh, and asked him for permission. He said yes, he ruled over the ABBA, ABBA's decision. And uh, so I read that uh, Benny Andersson was sitting in the car listening to radio when all of a sudden he heard a very, very famous song that he recognized. And uh, he was totally shocked when he realized that someone actually had been stealing from SOS. And uh, uh, Abba and Stig Andersson uh, had parted ways as by then, and they weren't all too good friends. And this uh, made their connection even more frostier, actually. So, so, and I think it lasted all the way to uh, Stig, Stig Andersson's death in the beginning of the 90s or something like that. So, so uh, it was never settled, but, but uh, both songs became huge uh, hits, actually. So uh, let's check it out. There, no doubt about it that this is a total... Uh, they're very much to me. <laughs> I'm going to pick a winner here. I think I... Uh, nothing against Abba's person. I'm not a huge Abba fan though. And, and, uh, uh, but I am a huge fan of Edelweiss, uh, Bring Me Edelweiss. It is a very, very crazy song, actually. It's one of the most hilarious and craziest songs in the 80s in Europe. So, so uh, I definitely pick uh, Edelweiss in this case, actually, just because it's so hilariously uh, wonderful, crazy song. Uh, example number three is a song that I learned of today that, that they were actually pretty familiar. I've never thought of it before, even though I heard them many, many times. Uh, and I'm talking about uh, Barbara Streisand and her song A Woman in Love. It's one of my absolute favorite songs. Uh, and uh, if you listen a bit to uh, the refrain, this, this one isn't uh, as 100% case as uh, Abba and Edelweiss were. But uh, if you listen to a part of the re refrain uh, of uh, Barbara Streisand's song and Britney Spears' famous song, Oops, I Did It Again, you will hear some really good uh, uh, sound. <laughs> Yes, I do have a Britney Spears collection. I have absolutely nothing against uh, her music. I am very weak for uh, girl pop, actually. I, I think uh, I uh, like her voice. Actually, I like uh, I like her her music. At least from the, the, for the first four years, actually. 
Uh, but if I'm going to pick a, a favorite here, I already said that uh, Barbra Streisand is versus is uh, one of my absolute favorites. So even though I like Oops, I did it again, I think no doubt that uh, Barbra Streisand is my favorite here, my my vote here. Uh, also, another song that I learned of today, even though I heard the so these two songs very much, uh, is or, or the next example, uh, Madness, British group had a huge hit in the 80s with Our House uh, and uh, if you listen to uh, that song's verse compared to uh, North, North Irish group uh, Cranberries and their song Just My Imagination from 1999 uh, you will hear that it actually they also sound uh, very much similar <laughs> By the time she needs a rest, the kids are playing on downstairs. It was a game we used to play. We were in the town on Friday night. Staying late on till Sunday. We used to be so free. If I'm going to choose a favorite here, uh, it actually will also, in this case, actually be the copy. Uh, I. Uh, I'm not that huge fan of Cranberries. I have a very hard time uh, listening to Dolores O'Rourke's voice. Uh, I think Zombie is actually one of my uh, one of the worst songs ever. But this album that, that this song is from, Bird the Hatchet from 1999, is actually by far Cranberries' best album. She sings pretty normal here, so I think that is just my imagination is one of the Cranberries' best songs. Uh, Madness, Our House, I've never been a huge fan of. It's a pretty good, okay song, but not my favorite. So uh, my uh, vote goes for Cranberries here. Uh, my final example is uh, an example that may not be all that famous, at least not here in Sweden. Uh, I guess not uh, famous anywhere else either. But uh, I discovered that, that these two songs actually sound very much alike. Uh, if you listen to the verse of uh, Brian Adams song Run to You and uh, you listen also to uh, our favorite Swedish group Rockset and one of the songs from their absolute first album in 1986 Pulse of Passion a song called Joy Over Toy if you listen to the verse of these two songs they will you will hear that they will this actually sounds very much alike so those were my five examples and I'm also going to pick a favorite among these two it's a really tough actually because I like both songs very very much uh, I have childhood memories very much from Roxette's first album uh, but I think in the end if I have to choose I choose Brian Adams uh, I like Run To You very very much but I also like uh, Joy of Toy also but I think Brian Adams will be the better of the, these two so uh, with that Brandon, Mr. Hall of Fame, I hope that you are satisfied with my answers. I hope that you all are and that you had a good time. Uh, it's actually fun to do this kind of a detective search, listening to, to find uh, uh, songs that sounds very much alike. Uh, so uh, I'm going to come back pretty soon with uh, two from one, actually. But until next time, I hope you have a really, really great time out there and see ya.